I would say that I think what everyone's thinking, okay, there's, there's probably three main types. So you either are doing it alone, or you are at a place where you're thinking about hiring a social media professional into the company, or you've thought about looking into some kind of firm to help you with your social media. My recommendation is that we, we can maybe do all three of those things over the lifespan of your company. And so obviously, you've got to start out, unfortunately, going it alone. Any small business owner knows there's a certain amount of bookkeeping you have to do on your own right away. There's a certain amount of accounting and marketing and, and asset management that you've got to do on your own when you start a small business. And social media is the same way. Um, I'll also use those same examples as when your business does start growing, there are certain things that you do want to outsource. An accountant, right? Maybe some legal help. And I really recommend putting social media in that category because it's something that requires professional expertise. It's something that you probably don't want to do alone. I don't want to do my accounting. So it's one of the first things that I looked to outsource. But I also internally with my business quickly hired people to help with internal social media as well because I am running a business just like a lot of you out here today and I don't have the time just like you don't. And I don't recommend that you sit down and try to go it all alone. Even though I know what to do, it's just sheer time. You know, you don't have the time to run a business, especially if your product isn't related to social media, and also run successful social media campaigns. And then ultimately, we all want to get to the place where we're either owning or working at a firm that is large enough to hire a social media team. So be that two people, three people, or more, if you can get more than one person in with some social media expertise, they can work together and come up with a plan. Because you need people around the clock on social media. Can you imagine hiring someone who only works 40 hours a week, and then someone asks a question at 2 o'clock in the morning, and it goes unanswered for five, six hours? And I think if you're, not, if you're doing it, you might be up checking. If a firm's doing it, you can ask them to be up checking. But somebody who's just you know, a 40 hour a week employee, you can't ask them, you, know, you can only ask for so much overtime. So I think that going it alone first is something you have to do. And then you want to look into a firm. And then ultimately, you want to build an internal social media team.